Okay, I'm gonna already set in the position, so just check that you have a mat or a towel or anything that gives you a comfortable surface to practice on. We're gonna start in a seated position. We're just gonna take a few breaths here. Yeah, so take your sitting bones back, sit tall, sorry, your bum cheek back, sit tall on your sitting bones, open the chest. Excellent, we're gonna reach our hands into a white T position. Reach your left hand as far as you can, bring it down. We're gonna stretch up and over. Inhale, lift, and I want you to take that rotation to the back. Okay, bring that hand back, open the chest up to the ceiling, then the other way around, try to place that right hand down on the mat. Yeah, two more like this. We're opening back, still press the left hand down, Nice squeeze from the waist. One more. We're opening the chest, mobilizing our spine. Excellent, and coming all the way back to center, sending the other arm as far as you can. Reach up and over. Good, open that arm behind you, open the chest up to the ceiling. Then bring that hand the other way around, you might be able to place the left hand next to the right. Two more like this. Open up, breathe, inhale, exhale. One more. Nice, coming back up, beautiful. Give yourself some rolls with the shoulders all the way to ears and back, reversing it. Good, beautiful. We're going to come onto our knees and then sitting back, we have this external, sorry, inward rotation of the hip. So we're trying to just get comfortable here. Yeah, bring your heels as close as you can towards the body. If it doesn't feel comfortable on your knees, skip that. Stay in a long seated position. We're just trying to open up those hips. Yeah, you should feel nice here. Just settle yourself down into the mat. Try to sit both sitting bones down. So give yourself some room. Take the flesh back. Just breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. In Pilates, with the inhale, we want to expand our ribs sideways. And exhale. Hug the ribs in. Two more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, take one hand back behind you. That big circle, other hand behind you. Open the chest, just lean back. Now we're going into our back extension here, opening the chest, press the palms behind you, just breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Take all the air out. Good, coming back into a seated position, keep that Sitting position, if that's comfortable, if not coming to a cross-legged position, we're gonna reach forward. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna get a little bit deeper onto our hips. Reach the hand, now this is a beautiful stretch, especially for those of you who are sitting a lot during the day. Just allow your body to come as close as it can towards the floor. Yeah, we're thinking about bringing our shoulders down towards the floor. Let the chest slow down. You're still trying to sit your sitting bones down. Give yourself a bit of a press back with the hands. Hip opening, shoulder opening. Let's come back up, climbing into our seated position. Let's lengthen those legs. Beautiful, good. We're gonna come into a bend forward position. So slowly reach forward. Yeah, you might stay only here tonight, and yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're trying to keep our spine nice and long. You might come a little bit closer towards your hip. Yeah, so don't force it. Don't pull yourself down. You want to keep the chest open. With every exhale, you might lower yourself a little bit more, but it should happen naturally with the breath. Don't rush to any specific position. Let the breath help you. Yeah, inhale. We open the chest a little bit more, and with the exhale, we might sink a little bit more down. 
wherever you are tonight, that's fine. I just want you to get that nice stretch of the hamstring. All right, let's climb back up. We're going to bend our knees. Feet are hip distance apart. Spread your toes from the little toe to the big toe. Lower yourself down with control all the way down to the mat. With the hands are alongside the body. Beautiful. We're going to open our hips here again. Yeah, this time extend our rotation. Feet together. Yeah, knees are wide. We're just stretching in our butterfly stretch here. Yeah, you might want to rock a little bit from side to side. Good. Beautiful. One more full breath. Good. Let's hug one knee in. Stretch the other leg long. And take that knee across, cross body stretch, opening to the right side of the body. Yeah, if it's your left and the left, you want to allow that side to open. So again, slowly with the breath, think about keeping both shoulder blades down on the mat, spread them on the mat. I feel like you're gluing your shoulder blades down. Good. Just feel how your tissues are opening up. We're not rushing here. Yes, yeah, slowly with the breath. I'm going to stay here for one more. Good. Changing legs. Stretch your right. Bring the left leg towards your chest and then across the body. Melting our shoulder blades down to the mat. Chest is open. Good. Coming back to center. Feet are flat on the mat. Hip distance apart. Good. Find your neutral spine. Just that little gap under your lower back. Check that you can slide a hand under your lower back. That's all we want. All right. Good. We're going to start with our pelvic tilt. So with the exhale, tuck your tail, flatten the lower back into the mat. So there's no more curve. We're really flattening the lower back, bringing a pubic bone towards our nose. Then on the inhale, release back to your neutral. Yeah, we're going to repeat that. Exhale, press the lower back. Inhale, release. All we do here is tilting the pelvis in and tilting it out. You can imagine your pelvis, yeah, that big bone, is a big bucket full of water. We're tilting the bucket in and then pouring the water out. That's all we're doing. Nothing else changes in the body. I want you to think about keeping your knees very, very still. Yeah, make sure you're not shaking from side to side with the knees. Good, you might wanna take it a bit bigger, exaggerate that movement, come to a bigger arch on your lower back. Releasing our back a little bit, getting a bit more mobility out of the spine. Just moving in between those two points. Yeah, flattening the lower back then arching our tailbone stays connected to the mat all through we're going to stay in our tuck for the next one think about zipping the tummy so we're already activating those deep abdominals wrap everything to the center start lift the tailbone off the mat we're starting to take our pelvic curl like a spiral vertebra by vertebra good coming up shoulder blades are still on the mat i don't want you here yeah, this is not a bridge position of the yogis. This is a pelvic curl. We're thinking about curling the pelvis. So bring your pubic bone towards the nose, squeeze the bum, shoulder blades are resting on the mat. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, hug your ribs in, melt from the chest, vertebra by vertebra, melt into the mat, and release back to your neutral. We're going to repeat that for five more. Tuck the tail, roll all the way up. Beautiful. Open the front of your hips, squeeze the bum, take an inhale at the top, and then exhale, melt down, place bone by bone down on the mat with control. Control is the key word here. We want to take it very slow to make sure we're really articulating each vertebra of our spine. Yeah, so this is a very basic um, principle in movement that Pilates adopted as well, and that's the distribution of force. When you have more parts of your spine moving, more vertebrae articulating, less 
um, pressure and less pain builds up in your spine, especially the lower back. Yes, so this is why we practice our spine articulation. We want our spine to stay young and elastic. You try to get it to move as much as you can, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up. Good, keep pressing your feet. Make sure you're not grabbing the mat, you're pressing the ground away. Use your feet to help you lift up. It should feel almost easy, like you're floating. We're gonna stay up there for the next one. Bring your feet a step closer towards your bottom, then lift up on your toes, slowly lower the heels back down. We're taking it slow. Lift up and we control. Yeah, I don't want you to collapse with your ankle joint. We're reaching up on one, lowering even slower. Three, two, one. Let's take it for six more. Lift, three, two, one. Beautiful. Make sure you're not collapsing with the pelvis. Don't let your bottom hang down there. We're still working with our bum. Yes, squeeze those glutes. Think about opening the front of your hip up to the ceiling. Two more. This is it. And make sure you're pressing with your toes. You're not gripping the mat. Good. Let's take an extra one. Just staying up there. Squeeze the bum even more. Engage the back of your thigh. Little pulses up. Yeah, so we want to reach even higher. This is not big pulses. We're not lowering up and down. We come into our highest point and from there, lifting a little bit more. Heels are up to the ceiling. Make sure you're not dropping the heels. Good. We're here for 10 more. Really working the back of the thigh and the glute. The ribs are in. Three, two, and one. Let's lower the heels. Release down with control. Nice massage for our lower back. Let's take our knees to chest. Roll a little bit. Release your lower back. Rocking from side to side. Excellent. Good. Beautiful. Place both feet back down. We're going to come into our chest lift. Reach the hands over the head. Send the hands forward. Peel the head. Peel the shoulder blades. Good. Inhale. New fresh breath. Exhale. We're coming up. Let's take five more. Work with your breath. Yeah, Empty your lungs completely on the way up. And then feel yourself up again on the way down. Good. Give yourself more room to lift forward. Yes. Slide the ribs towards the chest, towards the hips, sorry. And really empty the lungs. Excellent. Two more. On the last one, we stay up there. Bring one leg up to tabletop, other leg up to tabletop, squeeze them together, reach a little bit more, and then release all the way down. Legs stay up there. Squeeze your inner thighs, coming up again, chest lift. This time with our legs in tabletop. If it's too much for you, then we're just warming up, then bring your legs down, continue for a second set. Beautiful, guys. You're really feeling those abdominals getting warmed up. You're building some heat. Three more. Try to keep your legs as still as possible. Work with your inner thighs. Squeeze them together. Last one. Beautiful. Stay up there. Reach the legs forward. Excellent. Lower yourself down. Send the hands overhead. Good. Same things with our leg long. A lot more weight on the tummy. Yeah, with your legs extended. If you don't like it on your lower back, lift the legs a little bit higher. Yeah, or just bring them that, down again to tabletop. You can always reverse it. Six more here. If your legs are up there, try to reach them really, really long. Yeah, point them and think like you want to poke the ceiling or the wall in front of you. Three more. Work with the breath. One more. Staying up there. Good, beautiful. Open the leg, close the leg, release all the way down. A little combo here, lifting up, open, close, lower down. Four more, this is it. 
Beautiful long leg. Try to lengthen behind the knee. Going into our last one. Stay strong. Enjoy that burn of your abdominals. And let's take a little rest. Bring your knees to chest. That's good. Let's stretch the legs long. Stretch the hands over the head. Deep breath. Bring a lot of air to the side of your ribs. And then exhale. Release everything out. One more like this. Excellent. Good. Bring your hands a bit wider than the mat. We're going to bring our right leg up. Point the toes. Take the right leg across the left for your single leg circle. Yeah, now we want to make sure the rest of the body stays still. Yeah, we don't want to rotate the hips and shake from side to side. This is a pelvis, sorry, a hip to pelvis. This association, we only move the, pel the hip bone while the pelvis stays heavy on the mat. So we need a lot of focus and control here. We're not rushing anywhere. Let's reverse it. Open the leg to the right. It might mean to get that control that your circles are going to stay small. And that's fine. If you do want to challenge, you can take them a little bit bigger. Yeah, make sure you're not dancing with your hips. You can also play with the tempo. So take a fast one. Yeah, allow your body to kind of catch your leg and still keep the stability. Good, we're going to keep the leg up there, bend it, gracefully slide it down. Good, other leg comes up. Point your toes, take the left across the right, single leg circle. Make that leg really heavy and active. Yeah, that means bring a lot of life into the leg. It's not just flopping there. Yeah, we're reaching it long. Good. Just test yourself, see if you can take a bigger circle and what does it do for your pelvis? You want to keep it really heavy, nice and controlled, so we only steer that hip bone in the socket, in the hip joint. Let's open reverse. Yeah, keep pressing your right leg down, press the palms, the whole body is supporting you to move only your left hip. One more, bend the leg. Slide it down, give yourself a shake. Excellent, good. We're gonna squeeze our right knee, lift yourself up into a chest lift. Good, lift the left leg, single leg stretches. Yeah, if you want to challenge here a little bit more, hover the hands. If you find that you're collapsing down and only your neck is flexing up, keep your hands on your knees. Yeah, I want you to use the knees, use your leg to lift yourself a little bit higher so you have a bit of support. Yeah, this is a core exercise. We're working those abdominals, so it shouldn't be too comfortable to stay up there. Yeah, we want to lift a little bit higher each time we grab the knee. If you feel comfortable there, challenge yourself. Hands are hovering, no hands. Yeah, and now the challenge will be to pick up the pace, take it a little bit faster. Reach and reach. Good. Three. How are we going? Keep going, a bit of energy. Each hand holds each knee. We're resting down just for a short breath. And we're going into our double leg. Send both legs long, squeeze your inner thighs together. Good, hands are leveled with ear. We have our Pilates V here. Then with the exhale, take a big circle, grab your knees again, lift a little bit higher. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, big circle, grab your knee. Good, four more. If it gets too much, stay with your single leg circle. Yes, yeah, stay with what we just did. Gonna stay there for our last one. Just staying static. Beautiful. Five seconds. This is it. Lift a little bit higher. Breathe. Three, two, and big circle. Grab the knee, release down. Rocking from side to side. Good, hold behind your hips and rock all the way up into seated position. Hello, hello. We have here with us Karen, Eden, Ima, David, Miyot Zohar. Amazing. Shalom. So, nice. I can speak Hebrew. <laughs> okay, we're sitting in a long seated position. That means we have our spine nice and long. Take your flesh back. 
Beautiful. Let's send our legs forward, actually. If you find it difficult to keep your spine long while you're sitting with your legs long, slightly bend the knees. The priority is to keep your spine long. You might need even to place something under. So it could be a pillow or, um, or just fold mat. Yeah, whatever works for you. I want you to find your long seated position. Good. We're going to send both hands up. Find even more length. Reach up to the crown of the head like there's a little string lifting you up. Good. We're going to open and rotate both hands over to the right. And then reach both hands back to start position. Other side. Rotate back to center let's walk with the breath exhale we open <sighs> inhale reaching up good try to keep your shoulders away from ears especially when you lift your hands up we don't want that yeah keep that gap between the shoulder and the ear <sighs> good make sure you're not collapsing back we're sitting really tall on our sitting bones our chest is just above our pelvis our head is just above our chest one long line Good, on your next one, stay there. Stay rotated to the right. Reach the hands even more, like you're being pulled into a different direction. Beautiful, little, little pulses. Here we're squeezing here, like we're squeezing a piece of lemon. There's always a little bit more out of that lemon. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, come back to center. Same thing on the other side. Rotate, go into your maximum point, and then go a little bit more. Reach those hands, open the chest. Come back to center, good release the hand roll the shoulders all right good bend your knees have your feet hip distance we want to have the knees tracking our toe yeah at the middle toe so make sure the knees are not dropping to the side or inward yeah press the inner arch of your foot and only bring yourself down we place one form down other form down good now check here that you're not coming into a watching tv or tanning in the beach position we want to work so press the form, roll the shoulders back, try to connect your shoulder blades together, zip the tummy, find length from your waist. Yeah, waistline is long. We're gonna bring one leg up. Good, find your stability, other leg up. Good, single leg tap, lower one leg down. Good, low other leg down. Starting nice and simple. Try to keep the rest of the body really, really still. Yeah, that means we're not shaking and moving with the hip. Good, we're working the core. Think about pulling the belly button towards the spine all through. Excellent. Nice. Now you should almost feel like we're moving our legs underwater. Yeah, nice and smooth. We're going to keep the legs up there for our next one. We're going into our bicycle. Reach one leg long, circle the other, cycling away. Now I want you again to imagine that resistance with the air. We're not just flopping the legs. Yeah, we're moving the leg like it's moved into something thick. Like you're cycling here in space and it's quite hard. Beautiful. Send the legs really, really, really long. Check that you're not popping the ribs out, not bulging the tummy. So zip the tummy, chest is open. It's a whole body workout. Then reverse it. They're like you're drilling in the ground, drilling in mud, something thick. It's a bit of a coordination exercise, a brain exercise here as well. You might find it confusing. It's good for us to practice this coordination. It's part of the Pilates principles. Good, beautiful, one more. Good, then bring both legs up there. Stretch both legs long, bend them back in. Just bend, sorry, stretch, and bend. Check what happened with your shoulders. Make sure they're down and back. Three more. Last one. Excellent. Low one leg down, other leg down. Slide. The hands come all the way down. Good. Beautiful. Wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. We're going to go a bit into our leg work. So hands are wide open. Let's just take a breath here. I want you to spread your shoulder blades nice and wide on the mat. Yes, spreading the shoulder blades. You're going to send one leg long, other leg long. Beautiful. Now make sure that your tailbone is still on the mat. You're not lifting the tailbone off the mat. Yeah, keep it down. You might want to lower the legs a little bit more. That'll be a bit more challenging for your abdominals. So just check that you stay connected there, that the tummy doesn't pop out. Yeah, we want to wrap the abdominals in. Beautiful. Open the legs into a V position, heels together, toes apart. 
excellent lower a little bit lift a little bit now this is really small lower and lift few centimeters down few centimeters up don't even think about lowering the legs all the way down that will definitely go into your lower back yes stay connected with your abdominals if you want to check what's happening there yeah, if you're still not sure place two thumbs just button and check that you are engaging those muscles i definitely do as you can hear that my voice starts to shake quite challenging one more excellent we're going to keep our legs in 45 degrees 45 degrees is the angle between the wall and the ceiling yeah the wall in front of you bend your heels towards your bottom knees will come wide and then stretch them back again and this is your frogs and with the frogs we really really want to keep our heels squeezed together at all times imagine like you have um, a hundred dollar bill there oh and matai and we really don't want to let it drop. Yeah, we will never let it drop. Squeeze it really tight. Keep that V position. That V position helps us to get our external rotation through the hip. Knees will be wide, heels are squeezed together. Beautiful. Make sure you're not lifting the leg up to the ceiling. It's a little bit lower. You get that work, the load stays on the tummy. Three more. Last one. Beautiful, hug your knees in, take a little rest here, just a micro rest. We're gonna finish with our scissors. Yes, yeah, stretch one leg long, yeah, up to the ceiling, hold behind your hip, stretch the other leg down with the mat. Now, if you can reach a little bit higher, if you can climb up towards your um, calf or your ankle, that's perfect, yeah? I want you to stay in your maximum point. We're gonna take a deep inhale, and with the exhale, three pulses towards the chest, three, two and one staying up there lowering the left leg down holding the right three two one and change beautiful now notice that you're not throwing the other leg down on the mat we want to carefully place it down so everything we do we do with control like we're underwater yeah we place the leg down trying not to make a sound as the leg comes down to the floor Good. Now check that you're not collapsing down. Try to reach a little bit higher. Excellent. Finishing last one. Hug both knees in. Lower yourself down. We're going to come over onto our side on our right forearm. And if it doesn't feel comfortable on your shoulder or your elbow, yeah, you can come here. Same thing. Yeah exactly the same thing and you'll get the same benefits yeah i like to stay on my forearm just to give um a bit a little bit more of a stability challenge for my shoulder yeah it's a very wobbly joint we want to keep it nice and still it's part of the work all right if you are here your elbow is just under the shoulder hips are stacked so notice your front hip bones are right on top of one another yeah make sure you're not rolling back or forward lengthen your waist zip the tummy we're going to bring the top leg up lower it down now with the sideline series, what we really want to achieve, there's a lot of glute work yeah, and leg work, but what we want to achieve here is keeping the same position of the body. This is already 80% of the exercise. We're really challenging our obliques, the diagonal muscles of the tummy to stay in the exact same position and also sharpening our body awareness and yeah, make sure we know where our body is in space. So check the chin out, folding back, rounding forward yeah check your position if you have a mirror in front of you so you can see yourself in the screen perfect yeah, i usually don't encourage that uh, in my classes because i love people to kind of notice where our body is without looking on something without using visuals um but i can see you and i don't know what you're doing so i prefer you check in the mirror and make sure your um, bones are positioned correctly all right, we did 100. Let's keep the leg there. We're going to add a stretch, then bend the leg. Stretch and bend. Beautiful. Good. Zipping the tummy. Yeah, we want to bring the ribs in. We're going to keep the leg long on the next one. Little soft pulses. Yeah, so it's very small. Again, think like you're moving the leg underwater. Good. Chest is open. Collarbones are smiling. Three. Two, 
in one, bend the knee, place it down, excellent. If you are on your shoulder, give it a bit of a rest. Yeah, you're gonna come down now, stretch both legs long, beautiful. Again, check that both hips are stacked, zip the tummy. We're gonna lift the top leg up, lower down, good. Beautiful. If your hand is on your waist, yeah, try to pull it away from you. Try to create more length between your ribs and your hip, especially when you lift the leg up. We don't want to shorten here and bend. Keep that leg really, really long. <clears throat> we want to reach the leg, the top leg, longer than bottom leg. So it's not about height. It's not about lifting it high. It's about reaching the top leg longer than the bottom. Yeah, we're pulling that hip out of the joint. Beautiful. Let's take three, two, and one. Keep the leg up there. Use that hand for more support. Place it down. Bring bottom leg to top. Lower bottom leg down. Good. I like to call this one a crocodile eating. As you can see, my legs are a mouth of a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, so the top leg doesn't move. It does involve a bit of a focus and um, coordination again we only bring the bottom leg down and as you can feel it's the obliques the side muscles of the tummy help you do that quite challenging three two good both legs are up there squeeze them squeeze and lift finishing with your mermaid tail yeah think about your mermaid tail flipping tail flipping up and down three two and one, lower down, give your bum a tap and a clap if it needs, a bit of a shake, and come down onto the floor. We're going to do some back extension. So just as a reminder, back extension work, we want to extend our upper back rather than bending into the lower back. Um, so just be mindful here. If you do feel your lower back too much, uh, engage the tummy a little bit more. Yeah, so we always think about pulling the belly button towards the spine, wrapping everything to the middle. Yeah, We don't want to just rest here. Another thing is don't come too high. Don't come to your maximum point. It's a very subtle difference. Um, not that subtle, actually. It's a huge difference um, if you're working from your lower back or your upper back. Yeah, so just be careful there. Um, we're going to place our hands into a sphinx position. My elbow is aligned with my shoulder. And yeah, my forms are parallel to the mat. Good. Slightly separate your feet. Reach them long. Yes, yeah, so long that the kneecap might come above the mat. Yeah, we're not actively lifting the legs, we're just reaching the legs long. Forehead is down. Take a deep inhale. Start lifting the forehead above the mat. Roll the shoulders back. We're parallel to the ground. Yeah, make sure you're not using the neck here. It's not here. Yeah, we want to align our neck with the spine. We're parallel. With the exhale, melt down. Let the shoulders melt forward. Yeah, completely release the shoulders. Good. Inhale. Reach forward through the crown of the head. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, melt down. Really basic back extension. I yeah, just want you to have the sensation of working from the upper back and keeping the lower back really still. Yeah, We don't want to bend here. Give your lower back support by engaging the tummy. Yeah, And activate the upper back by broadening your shoulder blades apart. Make them as wide as possible. Four more. Good. On your next one, you're going to stay up there. Yeah, reach both hands long. Still keep your neck long. So we're looking down to the edge of the mat. Then bend the elbows back into your sphinx. Yeah, keep going. Reach forward. Superwoman pose. Then bend back. Four more. Take it slow. Yeah, we can imagine that we're swimming in the oceans. If only the oceans and the beaches were open for us. Humans, we ruined it. It's too late now. <laughs> Good. One more. Excellent. Lower down. Good. Shake a little bit. We're going to bring our hands next to our chest. Tuck the toes. Sit your bottom all the way back onto your heels. Rest position. We're staying here for at least three full breaths. Just releasing our upper back. Just breathe there. Good, and when you're ready, 
Yeah, take your time if you need. Float back onto all fours, so you're on your hands and knees. Yeah, just check here that you have a line. Your palm is just under the shoulder and your knees are just under your hip. Yeah, we want to neutralize our lower back. So make sure we're not bending here. Yeah, zip the tummy in, long spine. Good, perfect. From here, we're going to tuck the tail, only the tail, and then send it back up. My upper back doesn't change. Yeah, tuck the tail, round your lower back, reach it up to the ceiling. Good, three more like this. We're practicing movement separation. I'm moving only my lumbar spine, my lower back, while keeping the upper back nice and still. Try to exhale, take the air out as you tuck the tail. Inhale when you send it up to the ceiling. Now on your next one, we're gonna add the rest of our spine. So it's like a spiral. We add our mid back, our upper back, looking towards our navel, looking towards the belly button and then coming all the way back into a long spine. Good, you're going to feel that stretch from your shoulder blades, maybe even under your armpit and your lats. Try to really get that flexion out of the spine. Let's add an extension of our upper back as well. On your next one, send the tailbone up, open the chest, roll the shoulders back, look up. Yeah. And then going all the way to the opposite shape, rounding, looking towards our belly button. Good. Float in between those two positions. You can close your eyes here and really enjoy this transition. We're stretching the spine, opening the spine for extension, and then coming to the opposite shape, flexion. If you want to freestyle here as well, go for it. Yeah, you might want to wiggle the tail from side to side and move the neck, whatever your body is asking, a bit of a free flow. Two more rounds. Feel how elastic your spine moves. Yeah, we're starting with that movement. It feels a bit more dynamic. Good, excellent. Send your legs forward. Now that we're all ready, yeah, we open the spine a little bit more. We're going to go into our spine stretch. So legs are long. Again, if you need, slightly bend the knees, that's fine. Or place something under your sitting bones. We're going to reach the hands forward, shoulder level, get a little bit higher. And with the exhale, round forward. Yeah, we're really flexing the spine. The same thing we did on all fours. Stay forward, but then lengthen the spine. Up, reach the hands rounding back again and sitting tall. See how easier that feels now that we practice our flexion and extension. Yeah, so there's more space between our vertebras. Yeah, it's like a wave here. We get longer, rounding in, like someone gave you a punch in the stomach. Yeah, pull belly button in, come up and over your ribs. Then inhale, like someone is reaching, pulling your hands up. Reverse it. Two more. Find your flow with your breath. Last one. Reach those hands as long as you can. Feel the stretch under your underarms and then come back to start point. We sit a little bit longer. Good. Roll over onto your left side. Yes, coming onto our left forearm. Just notice that you did change side. You're not doing the same side again. Yeah, onto your left. If you rested here, yeah, you can take it on that side. If you're on your shoulder, try to stay on your shoulder here. Good, let's check our position. Yeah, hips are stacked, one on top of the other. Shoulders are down and back, chest is open. Beautiful. Let's bring the leg up, lower down. Good. Now your bottom leg is not resting here. Yeah, it's still working. The bottom leg presses down to the ground. Beautiful. Try to keep that length from the waist. Make sure you're not bending here. Don't get too comfortable. Yeah, we don't want to get too comfortable in a position. When I say comfortable, I don't mean it should be painful yeah, or too challenging. We want to find that middle point between an effort and ease, Yeah, just like in life. So you want to work but you also want to stay in a place that the body can still do the work without over 
think in it. The main thing here is we want to come out of our worried mind and into the body. Yes, so you want to make sure you're not getting too comfortable and you're starting to think, hmm, what am I going to eat tonight? Hmm, what's on the news? Yeah, you really focus in the body, in your shape, in your breath. Good. Keep the leg up there. Reach it long. Stretch and bend. Good. You're aiming to keep the top heel just on top of the bottom heel. So make sure the leg is not coming forward. Keeping the top heel on top of the bottom, make sure we work our glute as well. So the bum, and you can check, yeah, place your hand on top of your bum. That's my work usually, just touching your bums. Uh, <laughs> check that it's working. Yeah, it should be activated. Good. Shoulders away from here. Make sure you're not collapsing to the shoulder there. Three. And two. Reach that leg as long as you can. All the way out of the waist. Little pulses up. Nice and smooth. Now the slower, the harder. We don't want to go fast. Here. Take it really slow. Just breathe. Bring oxygen to that muscle. Three. And two. And one, bend the leg, place it down, a little bit of a rest, tap your bum. We're going to give our shoulder a rest as well. Good, now check that your legs a little bit in front of you. Yeah, so you can see your toes. Zip the tummy, press bottom leg down, top leg comes up. Good, not higher than our hip height, not here. Only to hip height, and it's more really about the length than the height. So try to make the top leg longer than your bottom like an airplane taking off this is an image that works a lot for my students so you reach you come forward and up like an airplane taking off if that makes sense for you perfect if not just think about reaching the top leg to be longer than the bottom and you get that pull from the waist yeah in either way your leg should be very very heavy by now Good. Three, two. We're going to keep the leg up there exactly like we did on the other side. Keep it there. This hand come down for support. Bottom leg to top, lower down. Yeah, if you do want to check what's happening without that hand, yeah, it's a lot more stability happening, a lot more challenging. See how you go. Yeah, make sure you're not rolling back. If you need that hand down, take it. Four more. This is it. A lot of oblique work. Yeah, obliques is the diagonal muscles of our abdominals, of our tummy. Super important part of our abdominal wall. Keep those legs up there. Reach a little bit high. Yeah, we're showing off our beautiful mermaid tail. Up and down. Really feeling into those obliques now, if you haven't already. Three. Two, last one. Lower both legs down. Give your bum tap. Excellent work. We're going to come over onto our tummy. Yeah, good. We're going to do one more extension work, upper back extension variation. Same principles. Pull the belly button in. For you Aussies who are watching, imagine like you're lying on a surfboard. Yeah, also in Israel we have surfboards. <laughs> so imagine like you're on a waterbed or a surfboard or anything that can take all of your weight, you're pulling the belly button in. You want to get lighter. Good. Sphinx position, forehead is down. With the inhale, reach up to the crown of the head. We're coming into our basic back extension. This time we're reaching both hands forward. Good. We're going to bend one elbow, look over your right shoulder, then stretch the hand back forward. Over the left, back forward. Rotations. Beautiful. Yeah, like we're swimming in the ocean, taking it nice and smooth. Not rushing here. Check that you're not dancing from side to side. You want to keep your weight in center. If you feel your lower back, open the legs a little bit more and definitely engage the tummy more. So scoop the tummy in, pull your spine, um, your belly button, sorry, all the way towards your spine. Good. We're going to take one more. This is it. Last one to the right. Last one to the left. Reach both hands forward. Lower down. 
Excellent. All down for our extension work. We're going to come into our breast position again, this time a little bit longer. Stay there for at least four breaths. And really allow yourself, yeah, open the knees, allow the chest to fall forward. Okay, give yourself some room there. Good. Now imagine you're sending the air to the back of your ribs. Yeah, we feel our ribs here with air back and side. Allow that movement of the ribs. Deep, long breath. Good. Stay there a little bit longer if you need. The rest of us come back onto all fours. Yes, you're on your hands and knees. Excellent. We're going to finish with a little challenge. Yeah, last bit of challenge for tonight or for today. Yes, yeah, so we're going to come into our uh, front support. Front support, support also known as the plank. Now, if you don't like it on your wrists, an option is to come down on your forearms. Yeah. Another option is to keep the knees down if this is too much for you. Yeah, so you want to send your weight forward. Yeah, make sure you're zipping the tummy, squeezing the bum. Yeah, good. But your knees can stay down. So this is also an option. It's also a lot of work here. If you're with me, we're starting with our plank, kicking the heels back, reaching forward through the crown of the head. So we're like a long, long line all the way from the crown of the head to the tip of our fingers. Good. Staying here. For only 10 more seconds, this is it. Get strong from your upper back, push the ground away. Yeah, really push the ground and breathe. Make sure you're not collapsing with your pelvis, stay strong. And then bring one knee down, other knee down. Good, beautiful. Yeah, shifting our weight forward and back, getting ready for our second and last set. Yeah, there is another set. Finishing off. Yeah, if you want to stay with what we just did, if that was challenging enough, stay there. Yeah, we're gonna layer it up a little bit. So reach one leg, reach the other leg, place your left hand in center, rotate over to the right side plank. Beautiful. Good. Try to reach the hips a little bit higher. If you need a bit more support, the bottom leg can come down. I still want you to feel that stretch all the way to the right side of the body. Staying here for 10 more seconds. This is it. If you want a little bit more challenge, little pulses up. Almost there. Yes, stay strong. We're integrating everything we did tonight. Full body challenge. On your next inhale, slowly rotate to center with control. Good. Bring one knee down, other knee down. Good. Give your wrist a bit of a stretch as well. Yeah, just roll the wrist. We're going to come over onto our other side. Yeah, you don't need to change. I'm just doing that to show you. Coming into our plank. Beautiful. Zip the tummy. First, your right hand in center. Open up to the left. Yeah, now reminding you an option to bring the right leg down for a bit more support. If you're there with me, we're staying here only for 10 more seconds. If you want the challenge, lift up. Good. Beautiful. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Slowly roll over. We're going to finish with our pike, with our pyramid. So send your tailbone up to the sky. Stretch the spine. Make it super long. We're going to walk our feet here. One heel down at a time. Good. Allow your hips to rotate from side to side. Send the tailbone really high to the ceiling. Good. Nice stretch from under your armpit. And then round forward, bring one knee down, other knee down. Coming into our cross-legged position. Ha! Ah. All right. Finishing here. Yeah, we find our long spine position, reaching the hands all the way up. Hands all the way up. Hold your opposite wrist, stretch up and over. 
give your wrist a bit of a roll here. We did use them a lot for our planking. Give them a bit of love. Other side. Beautiful, good. Interlace your fingers, flip them up to the ceiling. Bring your shoulders up to ears, then lower the shoulders down, open the chest. Yeah, shoulders up to ears, lower down. Three more. Last one, lower down. Try to keep the chest open and proud, at least for the rest of this night. Bring your hands to heart center. Give yourself a clap.